So, hello, this is Dr. Phase, and welcome to episode 13 of Phase Play Star Sector. So, yeah, uh, before we go too much further, I've tried fiddling around with audio settings that I'm better volumed compared to the uh, rest of the game, but I probably screwed it up. So, let's talk about ships and what I did between episodes. So, one of the things I did between episodes was buy this it's a Griffin class cruiser. So, uh, it's a missile heavy ship, so it has six uh, missile mounts, a large one, three small and two middle, so I've got harpoons for long range harassment, and no, pillars of long range harassment, harpoons for short range anti frigate weapons, and this, the Cyclone Reaper launcher for basically killing capitals, like onslaughts. And then of course we have the stri part, new part of the fleet, the onslaught 14th. Uh, so what does this have over the one we previously had? Well, uh, let me just show you, since I still have it in storage. And then I have to rearrange my entire fleet just to compare them quickly, don't I? Yeah, it's quicker to do it this way though. So let's just go back to refit, and so yeah, this one you can see I ripped all the weapons off of it. We can still see the capacitor and vent set up along with the hull mods. So, as you can see, despite putting no effort into the capacitors, the capacitance of this ship for Flux is pretty much on par, and the armor is about an extra 100 units. So, it's, it won't help out in a major against major attacks such as uh, Typhoon, uh, well, such as Reapers, but it does help out against small, lightweight attacks like machine guns and stuff. So, stuff that are. Uh, stuff that. Well, PD doesn't help against. And you can see, you got this all the same. Uh, whole mods just in a different order. So let's get that out of the fleet now. Yeah, and uh, let's. Ooh, could I meant to? Did mean to uh, do this between camera? And that's yeah. There we go. Vigilance one here. Nope. So this by this vigilance as one of those is horribly battered. So we'll just buy a new one and use this one. So, uh, Reapers? Uh, nope. Uh, I want Ion Beam, don't I? Similar to this one here. Reapers? Yep. And we're gonna want reinforced bulkheads and we'll stick maybe. Mm, missile? Faster engine performance? Probably, uh, faster missiles probably is nice. Boost its those up, and we'll go, of course, with faster missiles, reinforced warheads, and boost up its capacity. We want these to basically have to be rapid firing reapers at the enemy so they don't so we get as many through as we possibly can. Um, reinforced warheads, as per usual, and maybe standard deck, maybe. Uh, that's cheap enough, it doesn't really make any difference. And that's been good. So let me. Oh, it's, I'm like, wow, what a complete failure you are today, Phased. Oh, uh, good. And yeah, I'm doing this quick as I don't want to spend so much time doing this that I don't do anything else this episode. So, yeah. Well, that's going to below the crew threshold. We need quite nicely, actually. We've got a good surplus of crew. So we can lose quite a few in a carry operation without having to worry about being under strength. And we need. To Still need to finish outfitting this shepherd. Uh, what does it want? A couple of capacitors? Yeah, and this is getting to the point where it's becoming chuck it away. So let's just give it ECM, ECCM, uh, and glass doors. Let's see how quickly we can lose this ship, basically, and get a new one. Kites are nice, but when they're this badly damaged, it's not worth keeping her around. Alright, we need more, need more supplies. Yeah, we need all the fuel we can get. Basically, our fuel tanks at this point are low. Yeah. And we do have server data to sell. Uh, commodities. Uh, you, you. And we'll sell off a bit of our spare heavy machinery. Smuggling caused by me. Uh, we'll, we'll keep to that. Uh, any other ships we might want to buy here? I don't like Atli. Never have, never will really. 
And more. Uh, ooh, I haven't. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I think we do it there. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Right. Let's see. There's any missions here? Derelict. Yeah. Procurement. Uh, derelict. Derelict. I mean, I want to find. I do want to find. Uh, I do want to find a triple pull system uh, to basically go and trash the fully operational battle station inside. Uh, right now, what's our current max burn? It's seven, isn't it? So we need to find a tuck somewhere as well before we can even think about. Yeah, that's the one we. That's the that's the one we put out of debris field still. Still hasn't used so any bounties to do. Um that's enough fuel range. What's the most expensive one? Ooh, yeah, okay. Let's go for this one. Yeah, don't don't know. Uh Baron world is it? Yeah, Baron. So if we go back to that and take a look at that system. Multiple bounds, yep, so males will just lay in across that system. And let's just head there under drive. Okay. I might end up taking my fleet take it cutting some of my fleet down and going randomly exploring as right now we have way too many ships. Like we could get away with dropping half of these ships off somewhere and then going off like that. We wouldn't have any issues. With while exploring. An onslaught itself is enough to deal with most major threats. Take a couple, take a moor and a drover and some destroyers and frigates, and we'd probably be very good. And some more tempests. I like tempests. Yeah, here we go. One pulse, one off system. Right, uh, let's head for the outer system jump point. And let's hit that cancel. And. Uh, let's head for that one first. As yeah, if we go like if we go like that, we should hit. Them. Well, that sort of order. We should hit them with the least amount of supplies spent. Looking. Oh, let's get that off. Well, probably is a good idea to have it off in a remnant infested system. And while we're here, we can just hit the scavenging button. Ooh, nice. That was that's a weird find. <laughs> okay, let's continue. And but what we're here for is definitely not there. So let's lean across for that, and we'll just avoid the corona. Yeah. And nope, not there. And there's a remnant fleet coming. Let's move into engage. I am not taking out a full fleet. For this so uh, this tempest and take a lasher. This should be more than good. Keep the uh, drone in close. Keep under regroup so that now engage. Uh, take it's like the iron pulses so the iron beam is free to engage by itself. Oh, there goes my little drone. Have taken some damage, which is never, never good. Yeah, let's back off a bit. Our own shields. Tempests are lovely fast, so regroup, regroup, regroup. Active flares, we're a bit slow there. Right, we can finish this off by ourselves. Engage. Oh wow, we blew it we blew it ourselves just by colliding. Alright. Alright, keep the keep the drone close to us so we can get our full speed boost as we speed in. And we have Salamander on this for a reason, don't we? Engage. 
since we're, since we're, since we're at combat range now, it makes sense to have. And the drone can go off and engage by itself, it makes sense to. And besides, the, the drone is a little nightmare for these things. Yeah. Pick through the wreckage and pick up all the stuff we need for our mission. Oh, I'll continue exploits in the system, and... Ooh, there we go, that's our target. Just die already, you oh boy. So we have an onslaught, four enforcers, some nice frigates to destroy, and... yeah. Let's take a man for this action. We'll take a Mora for this, that one. And a couple of frigates, I guess. Uh, destro uh destroyers. Uh, the cruiser, the lasher, even though it's not fully operational yet. Uh, or, uh, no, not a vigilance monitor. That'd be useful for distracting the enemy onslaught, I guess. Did you bring the Tempest? We bought the Tempest, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. I think one of the ships I should prune for my fleet if I'm going to go looking for a major target from the Remnant Battle Station is, well the remaining one is the Legion as while we're looking it's unnecessary we can make do with a couple of Moras. Once we find it we'll probably come go back to the core world and pick it up to kill the station with. But boy is that thing going to be a pain to kill. I should probably think about also getting some nav beacons on this. Alright. Let's get underway. Ooh, that's some armor damage from the rocks. Come on, Terminator drone. Save your sa save your mothership. Although that onslaught is facing the wrong way. Ready, steady. Yeah, oh, could I activate my burn drive it That was a mistake. The are in close. Group two. The right. They're now at. They're now overfluxed. They're overfluxed. So. I mean, we're really testing. We know that a monitor can hold off. Can protect itself from an onslaught. Shields up. They won't save us for long. Yeah. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Right. You. Come and engage that. Save us, save us, save us, save us, save us, save us. We've backed off nicely though. Most of the weapons we were hoping to use against that have failed. God. That's suffering on its si rear side now though. We messed that up, didn't we? We messed that first engagement up, didn't we? Although now it's starting to suffer from uh, being out of the fact that it's now outnumbered. Alright. It's turned away. And our own figures are maneuvering right in front of our firing arcs. In goes the Mora with the Reaper, which no, it just doesn't connect, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to get this thing seriously overflowed before we can make it, before we can make uh, allow Reapers to connect. Or seriously over ionized. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Move, move, move. You're going in. Yeah. Thank you. Ready, steady. I think it hurts, isn't it? I would say that's in trouble, that onslaught. Come on, get more in the tubes. Come on, come on, in the tubes again. And that's an onslaught dead. How do you do it? How? All right. Let's 
event, and we should take more care in the future with this onslaught. So 14th, yeah, I paid to restore it once. I don't think restoring it twice isn't worth it in the end. Right, and um, most of their ships are not going to get out as we just can't. We don't have the speed to pursue. Oh, crud. Yeah, right. Let them go, I guess. Consider ship. Ooh! Compromised armor. Not worth recovering an onslaught like that, though. The only reason we recovered the 14th variant is because it was a 14th. 14th's pretty damn rare. Right, let's get out of this system. And back to the core world. So we'll lay in a course for Atlan uh, Kotal. As I. I have some officers that I need to level as well. Okay, let's do that. Look, colony in plants, that increases range. I think the tier tier threes is definitely the best one to get impact mitigation. Ooh. Yep. Always useful with a more. Right. So let's return to the core world to get some more fuel. And I feel like stalking out a Tritachion system to pick up a capital. Out we go. It should be a pretty fast trip back to the core. Two less than less than two days remaining. Let's fill up our hands. We're just about to travel. We're gonna just reach the core worlds now actually. Just realized. Yep. There we go, we got paid. Yep. Alright, so let's drop out and head for Kotal to Actually, cat. Oh, oh wow. Oh, nope, wrong one. Oh well. At least we got some more oil deposits. Uh, no, nope. no more server data, which we can sell. Trade. Right. Okay. More fuel. And more fuel. It's enough to do what I want to do now. We need the supplies though. And let's see if there are any ships available. Nope. Noopy noopy noop, not the ones I want anyway. Uh, there's Prometheus. Uh, we don't recently need the Tux though. Of course. Yes. Uh, so let's. Lay in a course for Hebersil. Uh, we're not going to go to Hebersil though. We're going to be camping out beside Hebersil, hitting Tritachian fleets, entering and leaving the system. By the time we get there, we should be at full combat readiness, so. Yeah. And by keeping our transport on, it's pretty much a challenge to try attacking on fleets to come and get us. Although, if we keep it off, we take less of a relations hit with them. So we're here, and actually, you know what? Let's take a dive in there, I guess. Yeah, what was that? Well, you know, not going in, but just camping out. Well, well what was that? Back to sustained. And. Yes. Uh, nothing we want there, I'm afraid. So let's take a look. At, let's take a look at Kunlan. There might be some more interesting ships around there. Goodbye. We'll just skim around here, I guess. And debris. Oh, crud. Okay, we, yeah, we were working on actually making the Tritachion friendly, weren't we? Sure. I can, it's been a couple of days since I've got this, so I don't know what my plan was, particularly. Maybe we should head out system. And... Put that off. And so... Maybe try a different tri system. Or oh, see what that fleet down there is. Let's do a spotted one. I think it's just got. Corner in a storm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let's just pursue these pirates, shall we? Uh, Ellen's thought probably not the best idea to deploy in one of these situations. Let's take the drover. And that. 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 Alright, lots of frigates. We'll take a Sunder. We'll take the two Sunders as well. We might actually need the onslaught to take on some of these capitals, though. Yeah, we're gonna need the onslaught. We can't bring in the onslaught. Oh crud! Uh, oof, we're just slightly over onslaught cape deployment. Uh, crud, crud, crud. Uh, what can we just tell to pull back immediately? Uh, for vigilance maybe. Yeah, we'll transfer to that, so we can actually fight. Also, like the tempest, so. Once we get the onslaught in, we'll uh, start immediately. Right. Ion Pulsar, that's close to combat range. Ready? Flame out. Vent, cool off. Alright, the vigilance has to be retreated. I think an onslaught could catch that eagle if someone was to slow it down. Like, say, me! In this little nippy little tempest. I think the onslaught's nearly here to f bring the fight to it. Why well, you should always fly a tempest. There we go. Uh, okay, onslaught coming into range. Let's hit that burn. Drive and close the distance to the target. Out the way, Sunder. Out the way. The big guns are here. I should probably be destroying that kite myself once I die at this point. Out the way, Tempest. Out the way. Goodbye. Death to the... Golden glow. Goodbye, buffalo. It's amazing what an onslaught can do when he gets he managed to punch right into the enemy formation, isn't it? It's amazing what an onslaught can do when it hit when it reaches the center of an enemy formation. Alright, come on, speed up, 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 speed up. I wanna catch that uh Sunder. That's some serious damage done to that Sunder. Right, come on. Close the distance. Force another ace. Escaped. Okay. Okay. Come on, Sunder recovery. It's going to be uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. No. 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 None of those. Do the wreckage. Right, okay. So, right, let's ignore the idea of farming. Let's go and take on the diktat, I guess. Since diktats tend to have a mix of mid and mid and high tech along with low low tech, so taking the diktat probably is a good idea, I guess. Yeah, uh, that's not what we came here to kill, but... Mm. 
I think I could do this entire engagement and I'll just have to be careful, but I'll take the Tempest with me. Here's a nice harasser. Minimum expenditure. So we can also uh, dock to repair Nausea while we're in this system, so... I don't have to worry about things. Yeah, I can't tell what the enemy has brought to the battle, so... Yeah. Let's hit the burn again. And those wolves are trying to... Ah, I caught the back end of that once. Right, I don't think my rear end is too exposed. Right. I know the Tempest can probably act. No, it can't. Right, tell that to get out of there and we'll bring in some actual shit. Uh, reinforcements this time rather than just going, yeah, just sell this. Uh, you, 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 you. Yeah, I think I want wood at it the spring and more. Right now, cash is not an issue for us, so let's do this properly, this fight. Okay, it's overfluxing quickly, that one. Nice, okay. Even though we have to waste our uh, precious torpedoes on that. I should have done more of a spread. Oh, you think... You think that you got me over PD... You got my PD over stress, do you? Can I tell you another thing? You'd have to do a lot worse than that. Oh, I should. And I am over flux now. Not enough to sort of flame out, but not enough for my PD to operate properly. But the armor's still intact up front. Let's just pull back. Maybe I could... Yeah. What was that? That was... Okay. Uh, no, f no fair. So maybe maybe you can't handle your maybe you can't handle flak PD yourself. Okay, let's get that wolf and vigilance off our backside, I guess. And bring that more up to help. Then enforce can deal with the vigilance and yeah. We're currently adrift. <sighs> could try Okay, we could try a Reaper spread once we get our engines back on the mine. And that's another flame out. Cause what's we've done them one flame out, two flame outs. Right, okay. Can we fly again in a minute? I don't want men's back. My engines are now back online. Bring the thermal pulse cannons to bear and can we do Right, these are set for non-burst fire for a reason. There we go. At least we made hit with at least we made contact with one of the Reapers. Which I have to say is pretty damn good. It's still heavily overfluxed as well, so. Knew it! Okay, so we got one enforcer dead. We got a wolf to kill now. We do have some weak spots in the ship's armor, but we're okay, I think. Hold fire. So don't want to. Don't want to waste this flux bonus while we've got it. More than double our own speed. Right. Let's go get this other enforcer. Well, looks like that Sunday is tanked to shred, so I want to get in there quick. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, ready to engage again? Engage. Come on, burn drive, get us in close. 
we have enough for a full spread again, so we can we can play it down with the Reapers. That's what I say. Oh, get our get our PDF of holding fire. And ready, steady. Yeah. If you spin them out like that, it looks like the ships have a lot more of a hard time dodging them. And I can still rapid fire them against and a capital to really cripple it. So I'd say that setup for Reapers is a lot more effective. Those wolves are currently playing catch with my destroyers. Probably should go and help them out in a minute. Come on, close the distance then. Yeah, come on, swing back. That soft looks only there. What are we doing? We need to close the distance again. So Reapers and yeah, this is our this is a kinetic battery to bring down shields quickly. Nice. Ah, crud. Okay. Swing us and let's just go and save our destroyers from these frigates, shall we? These figures are a lot harder than I thought they were going to be. I might just bring in the drove. I might bring in the drove to solve this problem for me. Oh, cool. that sun is taking a beating. Right, this is. So enemy vigilance dead. They're gonna slip out now, by the looks of it. Oh, no, they're taking the, the, the CR lot. They're suffering malfunctions due to low CR. But come on, swing around. That might be a bad idea, it might not be. I don't, it didn't hit, so it's neutral idea. Goodbye, Wolf. Completely destroyed as well. Right, uh, enemy range is now decreased by 20% rather than just 15 or 10. I think it was. Right. I think that's going to be it for this engagement. Yeah, let's just claim the victory and get out of this. Okay, so we got quite a good portion of ships from that, I guess. Let them go. No need to bother with that. We have enforcers already. To the wreckage. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Let's just learn that whole mod quickly. SU. Yeah. So, if we were to get, say, a, a beam capital now, that would be really helpful for us. Hey, wouldn't these guys just in the tire tachyon system? Okay, so. Onslaught and Legion. Let's lead in properly this time. With full fighter support. And that. And yep, we'll take that with us. We'll take the fully functioning Sunder with us. Uh, so for some OP, and uh, take some um, the vigilance is with us, and we'll we'll uh, take a lasher as well. Yes, yeah, so that's all of our deployment. Okay, so we still have the whole, we still have the armor patch back here to worry about. It's not fully fixed yet, but we should be okay as long as we don't get flanked. Those ships here, perfectly designed to flank an onslaught. 
crud. Hopefully none of them have Reapers. Alright, keep closing. There's a hammerhead up there. Let's go and deal with some of the enemies for free air destroyers. Well, let's say that an enemy cruiser has just appeared. been a legion to with us to deal with that. Since it looks like there's a lot of enemy forces up there as well, so Oh that's that little thing's fast. Ready, steady. Goodbye. Okay, maybe I was a bit over optimistic with the ability of those Reapers to bring on that shield. Oh, hell, no, oh, that's worrying. Uh, where's my where's my forward armor gone? That one boomed nicely. <laughs> right, this vent. We lost our Tempest again. Oh, it's properly destroyed this time. Well, I guess if you need proper PD, you can stay, stick near the Legion. There's a Gemini there, which is the enemy's effective carrier support. Maybe we can hit it with our own Reapers. Who needs, who needs fights when you have capitals? Yep. And a Medusa. Okay, the Super Wolf. Break so we don't slam into the back of the Legion. We should probably be thinking about maybe steering away from Syndria as at this point off the onslaught which we're relying on. Ooh. So what where was that? Ah okay. Panic. Then we have some really advanced figures on the field, which is gonna make this fight a lot more interesting to say wait. Uh, oh, Starfarer. Oh, Starfarer. Oh, crud. Right, uh, hit that burn drive. Ignore the Medusa. It seems to be point defense variant, which basically means it shouldn't be that much of a threat to us since we are heavy to fire. It's going to do a lot more than point defense to. What the hell is this one? It's elite, and it's just torn through some of what remains of this ship's armor. Thankfully, we still have one functioning uh, thermal pulse cannon. Spread out the Reapers. Nice. That little frigate is a monstrosity. And I know I've flown one of them. They are monsters to. F well. How did it do that? Ow! Oh, and there's a wolf now. Crud. Right. Okay, I can think of two as I turn the. Oh, crud. Now there's one of those behind me as well. Crud, 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 crud. Hit the burn, 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 hit the burn. Force it to come into range of my bombers if it wants to do anything about me. Hold fire. Hold fire. If it comes close, then I'll let you fire again, but there's no point in the guns fire while it's nowhere near. Oh crud, hit the burn drive. I, I had no idea there's a hammerhead right behind me. Right, I need the space to turn this lumbering thing around so I can bring my main guns to bed to finish it off. We turn around, we, we good, we get to turn around, we turn around now, we, we finish the three point turn. How is that thing moving so quickly? I thought. How the hell is it. They changed its ship system. I thought it was the. Uh, I remember we having just an EMP device. I forgot it. I didn't know they changed the system. Yeah, it's got. It used to have a system similar to them. Now it does not, it appears. Which is uh, throwing my ideas what that thing could do to shreds. Okay. 
Let's just deal with the major threat to the Legion. And you know what? Let's bring in the two Medusa, two more to back us up. You know what? I'm ahead and everything doesn't have of the Enforcer, the maneuverability. Or the ability to speed hastily out of the way of things. It's got, the f it's got more firepower, but it doesn't have the ability to slip out. So, enemy shade is dead. Good, good, good. Yeah, this is why I bought two burn drive capsules. And we're now fresh out of Reapers. We rested our last salvo on this ship. Storm leader really able to fire again on this thing? And that's a. Oh, it's the wolves again! Oh boy. Ready? Turn around. Come to bear. Oh, and I could have breached the most of them. Ah, no, we still have no Reapers, so I need to remember that. You don't just want to magically gain Reapers just because you want them phased. Good. We're still heading away from Sindri towards the North Shore to repairs to the fleet. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a point where these ships are going to start suffering. They're suffering combat readiness issues already, so. Yeah, we can outlast them. See, they're suffering combat ready readiness already, so. If we just need to outlast a bit longer, and we've won. That is a really, really annoying ship system. Right, another enemy ship is disabled. Right, the moors have arrived at uh, taking the pressure off the uh, legion, and it looks like they're now taking out that ship. Reduce the like a them too. So, let's kill this thing, shall we? I don't think you've survived in time to save that hammerhead. It's a goner. Like I said, it's a goner. Yes! Alright, okay. Okay. Let's get rid of this, some of this flux, shall we? Oh. Come on! Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Oh. Oh. Boy. Oh. Joy, oh, joys. Look what's just arrived. Ruin the party. A doom. I mean, you gotta love these things, haven't you? You gotta hit, I think, with the, th with the thermal pulse cannons. That frigate's yeah, it's combat readiness has reached one. It's it's gonna. It's gonna now. I still have full operating time for my ship, so called it. Right, okay. That wolf is at thirty percent CR. Spell looks it. Right. That oh okay, that's that's news. Okay. I, okay, that's an interesting key. But that Doom now has to punch through two heavy capsules if it wants to escape. And it doesn't have the flux to make it fast, either. Especially not if I do this. Keep it under, keep it fluxed, keep it doomed. Keep the Doom doomed. As it has to spend flux to stay hidden. It can't escape otherwise. So. And also, the more we keep it under, the faster time it experiences. I think I already said this last time before Doom, but if we can keep it under, it experiences time faster, so its CR will decay faster. But it's still going to try. F it's still going to flee. We can't stop it. What we can do is make an expensive retreat.
I don't think he's going to enjoy that. I think he's actually escaped. Yeah, he's escaped. It's escaped. We can't catch it. I need to be careful of those. Those can damage an onslaught armor. Despite it being friendly. And that's how something to suffer malfunctions as well, so. We can keep up with this Medusa and finish it. Especially if it suffers from another malfunction. Got it, right, I'm not going to get the Doom, so let's just hit that claim victory and get this over and done with. Let them go. We lost some, sh we lost quite a few ships. Okay, that's ours, 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 ours. Okay, we'll take that. I want to try racing around with it. Apogee class balance cruiser. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let's cover it through the wreckage ourselves, pick up the stuff we need, take the high intensity laser, we'll take these, as these probably belong to us, so we need them back anyway, and we right, and then of course for Nocho, we're still at sustained burn, right? Right. Right, they're running from our fleet, we've done, we've terrified them off, wow, I didn't think that was actually possible, nice, okay, let's take a look at our officers, shall we? Level you up with a phase of action level 3. Yeah. Okay, that's the max level cap for that officer. Yeah, you lost your ship, didn't you? I think we might have, we, we might have recovered one sun. No, we didn't recover the sun, did we? No, we, if we recovered it, it'd be down here. Yeah, we recovered it. We recovered it. The Tempest, did we recover the Tempest? We didn't recover the Tempest, did we? Oh dear. Right, this means buying new tempers at some point. Oh wow, okay, we've slipped the net. Let's get to North Shirt, repair. Okay, we're at North Shirt. Let's just go to Fleet and buy, see what we can buy. Right, let's actually refit and prepare to go back out to face them. Okay, this ship is perfectly fine, it doesn't need to be restored. Auto fit, I don't know how to outfit one of these for the best ability, so we'll just let the AI outfit it, probably. This I do know how to outfit though, so my assault gun, and that's fully outfitted otherwise. No D mods, still perfect condition, it doesn't need to be restored. You um, yeah, get rid of them. Let's replace them with salamanders. Need ECCM package, uh, blasters, and yeah. Okay. S Vigilance with its weapons fully intact. Uh, this needs another typhoon, which we have. Thank God for that. And restore. Yeah. We're not ducking out of the system until we have what, some of what we came for, which at this point I'm not sure how well we're going to get it. Missile hard points. Eh, harpoon is probably would be good on this ship, so weapon groups. And we have a. We have toys on this? Okay. Yeah, okay. Weapons. So. Yeah, that seems pretty damn good. Uh, yeah. We're restored as well, it's going to be expensive, but it's a nice ship, so let's, let's start out nicely. And while we're here, uh, uh, safety overrides, yeah, and reinforce bulkheads so we don't lose it. Run sim quickly, and we'll just, I want to know what it, no, that's probably not a good idea to face, it will turn face off against divisions. I want to see what it's, oh, oh wow, okay, that's a weird system. 260 speed units. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, wait, there's no shields on this? Sh oh, no, there's shields. Okay, there's shields. Okay, I was wondering about that. Let's 
back off since we have. Oh no 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 no! I just remembered no venting in this ship. Right, you know what? Let's end simulation. I don't. Let's try that again quickly. Yeah, for lols. Alright, well, for fun. Alright, let's try it. There's a squalls? Oh boy. We can just, just grab some of his weapons, though. I call those. Right, so that's a nice little ship. Uh, Reinforced bulkheads. Since we are deploying these Sunders, maybe we've switched them out for Pilums, the long range support, and gave them. Uh, the nav relay. They'd be more useful like that. So if we give this a uh, pillum and a nav relay instead, it would help out the rest of the fleet more than uh, serving itself. Reinforceable cards. Uh, most of its weapons have come through, this one. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do we have on the. Ah, oh, I need some more. Still perfectly intact. Uh, we need some new PD on it though, and we'll go with Vulcan. And hop. Harpoons, like. Sabots. Bring down the shield so the main plasma cannon. Uh, reinforced bulkhead check. And. I, IT. We'll go ITU, I guess. And. Uh, auxiliary thrusters. No, I forgot we have advanced optics, don't we? Oh no, it's uh, only effects beam. Only effects beams, and we don't. We have the high intensity laser. Yeah, we've got to switch to one of them and stick advanced optics in. So that should. That's an extra 20 plus an extra 200 on that. So let's just run a sim of this and see. See the, see the range. Okay, that's pretty damn impressive. That's pretty damn impressive. Can we get that higher? Just wondering. Are we only whole mods that can get that higher? No, I don't think so. Alright, uh, we'll just chuck some vents in that so they can fire for longer, I guess. Uh, what we'll do is we'll open up storage here, pay, leave, and we'll leave some of these little phrased figures because I can't be able to outfit them now. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I did take. No, fleet. Take. Take that back. Hey, mil the military market here. Nothing to buy. Nothing to buy. Okay. No, there's a tug here. We, wa we want a tug, didn't we? We want a tug. Bye. Okay, and now we want to go to crew cargo. And that. Military here. Bye. Okay. Uh, we need more fuel if we want to get out of the system. We need more supplies. We want to keep operating in it. Yeah. And this one last check. And forces. Do one more check on the ships we still have in the fleet. Yeah. The reinforced bulkhead. So if we can't get out of a battle, you can say a pursuit we win. Uh, and we have. Let's just. Auto assign either officers. Okay, that's probably a bad one to hit when we have ships set up the way we do. So, uh, yeah. Right, so. Right. Okay, that's acceptable. You have gunnery implants 3, so that gives you an, a plus 15. So, actually, let's just bring. Uh, well, let's refit this one as well and give it the. Give it the uh, advanced optics full mod, since that is brilliant for boosting these ships' range. I guess stick it there. Bring the mule down out of the out of the active deployment list. Bring the area back up. Yeah, and you finish. You finish. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And giving this officer. Command of a carrier does not feel like a good idea. So we still have the lash. We did, we did still get the lasher, didn't we? 
Let's bring that back up to active performance list. Yep. And assign that one to that. Okay, finish. Alright, okay, let's go and take a trip around to Syndria. See if we can get see if we can find some big guard fleet there to kill. And then we'll look all out for this episode. There's a fleet there. They've been through the corona. So their combat readiness has been reduced a bit. But they're still more ready for combat than we are in most of their ships. Moving to engage, continue. You take the two of them. Take. Oh, we don't have the Tempest again. Yeah, I have to remember that. We'll take to the Legion. Uh, the Enforcer and the Lasher. And we can get a couple more figures out. Yeah, we'll bring that for the speed round as it goes. Okay. So we got a decent speed bonus going our way. Alright, let's get moving. I don't like this. It's too quiet. Too, too quiet. And there's a tar first target of the day. It's a Cerberus, not worth touching with this. Alright, okay, come on. The plan's on the way. Right, they've got to deployed they've got to have deployed something more powerful than what they currently have on the field. Right, that's where their eagle is, so wow, they've bunched up together, haven't they? It's gonna be an all or nothing assault, I guess. Which is never good. Right, uh, I want that to be harassed, not by you, you can keep eliminating that, but I want you to harass that, I want you to come in and help eliminate that, I want you to harass, uh, join the harassment of that hammerhead, they should have really long range lasers. Okay. Those plums are not going to intercept that wolf at all. It's going to take a onslaught to stop that religion stein to that wall. Alright, we've saved the vigilance. And our sunders have died. Yeah, we've met. Big, pro big problem. Vigilance, move out the way of my guns. Otherwise, you might find them aimed at you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There go the Sunders. And the Vigilance is dead. I probably realize my own fault for giving it a bad order. Now, I don't know if I want to just go straight hurling at myself at that eagle to get it dead quickly, or if I want to go slow and more tanked. Well, the Legion's uh, right in there, so I don't think it really matters anymore. We already have overwhelming force in the enemy at this point, so let's just bring it to even more overwhelming. Ready, steady. This cannot avoid Reapers like a destroyer. Though it maybe it can if it uses its maneuvering systems. Moving jack subsystems. And I am still not. I still have fully functioning PD, so I'm still good. I don't have to worry yet. And PD is still good. Alright, let's vent and cool off quickly. Not in any immediate threat. So, it makes sense to vent while we can. And go get it. Go get him. Right. 
Right, we've stopped, and it's not moving away from us. We can fight this. Its maneuvering systems are offline, for at least temporarily. Okay, uh, anything left to kill? Worth it. No, they're not surrounded yet either. Crud. Yeah, they did some armor, armor damage, but it's still good. It's still good. Yeah. That's the Sunder out of, uh. <laughs> just the excessive range of those lasers now. Man, oh man, oh man. They're gonna regret giving me that whole mod. They are so gonna regret that. Right. I mean, as soon as I get a ship, I can really use beams on. That'll be a pal. That's a powerful whole mod to have. Enemy vigilance. I think that's gonna be my next target. I have to say that Legion is pretty damn effective, even by itself as a carrier. Given its com, given it its combat abilities on the top and its monster. It is literally just a s an onslaught with a sl it's I bet you get it out. I bet you get out onslaught and onslaught. Reapers are too inaccurate this against this sort of target. Right, they wanna they're trying to retreat now. Go along bows, go. Those are sabots, and they're gonna do their job of completely bringing down that thing's shields. That's that's gonna die to the thunder. The other sun the other one's gonna die to the other under as well, and we have a winning combination with these ships. I'm saying our trip to Norsha to repair, to, to repair and resupply and refit is probably a good idea. So we could basically just start chewing through uh, Dicta ships. Damn it. And that shepherd's not long for this world. The service isn't long either. Don't have to be a genius to know that. That is not gonna last long. Against all that's alright against it. Oh, good. Oh, well, at least it eight shields. It's we're good. Okay. Let them go. And should I ship recovery? What can we. We can recover our own vigilance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Recover. To the wreckage. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, take them and them. Hit the Syndria relay with a no, no. We need to get to s we need to make it to Syndria now. We need to make it to Syndria now. Cool. That is a s this is a relief fleet here. So, next episode we're going to be striking relief fleet. We're outnumbered, but most of these ships seem to be 
purely trade ship, so... Yeah, we can... We could win this. We could strike a serious blow here. Nat is not very well equipped. The Doom we can outlast, and yeah. Ah, oh, Sunder is oh, monsters right now. So. Yeah. Next episode, we're going to take on this fleet. Bring down some sp relief fleets. Yeah, I think it's time to start some piracy. So, if you watched this one today, you've clearly enjoyed what you've watched, so why not think about liking and subscribing down below? And if you really enjoyed it, why not think about uh, giving out a share? I mean, it helps my channel to grow, so can you think of a problem with that? It's also. And in the meantime, this is phased out.